Okay, Houston, right, we've had a problem here. This is Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Let's talk about acid-base neutralization reactions. If you put an acid and a base, they neutralize each other. Kind of cool. Now, it follows a very simple principle that you probably have figured out in the last few videos. Remember, what makes an acid an acid is the presence of hydrogen ion, and what makes a base is the presence of the hydroxide ion. And if you put hydrogen with hydroxide, hydrogen ions with hydroxide, you make HOH, positive one, negative one, better known as simple water. So when you put an acid with the base, the hydrogens react with the hydroxides, and they neutralize to simple water. Now there's a general rule. You say this, an acid plus a base, an acid plus a base makes a salt and water. A salt? What do I mean by a salt? A salt would be some kind of an ionic compound because these H's and OH's are already connected with somebody else. So if that's the case, you're going to make a salt and water. Let's just do a few examples. Probably the classic one is if I take hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide. Okay, the H makes HOH, let's do that. And it's best, by the way, that you don't write it as H2O, but you write it as HOH. And then the Na is gonna get together with the Cl. Now the charge of Na, if you recall from the periodic table, is plus one, chloride is minus one, so you say NaCl. But this is kind of interesting. If you get these amounts just right, you can take the strong acid, hydrochloric acid, dangerous, crazy stuff, sodium hydroxide, also dangerous, crazy stuff, it's lye, Drano, you mix it together in perfect proportions, perfect proportions, and you get salt water, and you could drink it. We're not going to try that out because if you don't get it perfect, bad, 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 okay. <laughs> but this is one that is nice, and it's all balanced, one-to-one -one ratio. Let's do one that's a little more complex. What if I take H3PO4, phosphoric acid, notice there's three of these, plus calcium hydroxide. Now calcium hydroxide has a positive two, negative two. Now you may have done these again, but again, it's gonna make a salt and water. Let's make the water first, H-O-H, -H, this H, these O-H's, H-O-H. -H. Now I have to then rethink this. It's a double replacement reaction. You've probably seen these before. I have to play sort of a charge game. So calcium periodic table has a plus two charge. Phosphate, probably at a table somewhere of the uh, polyions, PO4 negative three, that's gonna make Ca3 PO42 because you have to put them together so that the charges add up to zero. And now we have an unbalanced equation. And so I need to balance everything out. Um, take the most complex one and assume it's one. This is probably the best one to start. I've got three calciums here, so I'm gonna put a three here. But then what I do is I like three hydroxides, but there's two, so there's actually six. So I put six right here. That gives me, and think of this as HOH. So six hydroxides, that gives me six H's, right? Those H's, if I go to two here, two times three is six. That gives me two phosphates. And well, look at that, two phosphates. That's the balanced equation. Now let's just do one more that actually violates this rule. Acid plus base makes a salt and water. But there are acid-base problems that are a little bit more complex. Let's say, for example, I take HCl and I react it with the weak base ammonia. We talked about that most of the weak bases have these in compounds, they're amines. And in this case, you're not going to make water. What you're simply going to make is the H is going to give himself away to the ammonia and he gives himself NH4 positive, ammonium, which you've seen that, and it kicks out the chloride. And so that isn't this acid plus a base that makes a salt and water. Because technically there's a, a, a definition which we may or may not get into. Is the definition of an acid, it's called a Bronsted-Lowry acid, is the hydrogen, an acid, pardon me, donates his protons to somebody else. Remember a proton is H positive, right? That's a, uh, it's got one proton. There's no, the electrons are stripped because of the positive charge. He's donating his proton to the ammonia that makes him an acid. And the one who receives the proton acceptor is the base. And so that makes this the acid and this the base. You're gonna do some stuff in class where you're gonna practice these, but neutralization reactions, super easy. Acid plus base makes salt and water. These ionic compounds, you gotta play the charge game like we do here, but once you kind of figure that out, balance it out, crazy, crazy easy. We'll see you in class.